we will go into the rehearsal room and explore material that is confronting and you know scares scares us and um, that we know is potentially not only going to be challenging for our audience but for ourselves and um, we're interested interested in this kind of liminal moment where something becomes secure it is secure and then becomes fragile and um, trying to kind of render that for the audience to experience that. And we've tried to create a kind of um, an aesthetic that is very minimal, that is totally reliant on the kind of the actor's craft um, of acting and storytelling and just in the nuance of them finishing a scene, pausing and shifting into the next moment. So, so it's a real tribute to their kind of uh, skill as actors to kind of hold this kind of complexity of narrative on stage. You kind of, as an audience, wrapped around the performers and there's an immediacy that as one of, the act, one of the actors said, there's nothing to hide behind. It's just us on stage. Look, you know, the, the, the world of the superhero is not necessarily, theatre is not necessarily the best medium for it. You know, and I think we've seen examples of like Spider-Man on Broadway that is still in, possibly in preview, I think. <laughs> and it hasn't quite opened yet, but um, it's, it's fraught, you know, like the, the world of the superhero is best suited to ink and paper where, you know, an illustrator can draw two superheroes battling it out in space, throwing planets at each other. And, or in the world of high-end film with CGI and they can also render that. But the idea of the stage is, placing it on the stage is qu quite terrifying um, because there's limitations, you know, there's things like gravity <laughs> that you have to deal with. the superhero that's fascinating in terms of going what what is it about superheroes that you know you see a small child pretending with a superhero cape on and it's a kind of act of empowerment but also I think as adults there's um, there's a sense that the superhero is altruistic that they're, they're doing something that is beyond their own needs they're giving something up to do something for the greater good and it's almost like a kind of wish fulfillment it's like it's like if, if we could be who we really wanted to be, and then we would be out there doing something for others.